We're going to stay with this story now and just reflect a bit more on the artificial intelligent intelligent element that was suggested by the police around this image. Uh, just a reminder, John Boucher did say yesterday that he had been made aware of a suggestion the picture could have been generated by AI. Kevin Kern is a professor of cybersecurity at Ulster University. Good morning to you. Good morning, Elaine. What resources, Kevin, would be available to the PSNI to determine whether any image is genuine or possibly AI generated? Okay, well, there are fake image detectors online, online services, and even you can download them as well, like fake image detector or photo forensics. <clears throat> that can tell you with some um, degree of certainty whether an image is fake or not. And um, this image is real. No data set would have that image. He's wearing forest camouflage. You do not wear forest camouflage in the desert. His hands show he's white and he's wringing his finger. He's also holding an airsoft gun. The strap is too flimsy for a real gun. And most importantly, the lighting matches with everyone else. The sky is overcast, so there's no harsh shadows cast on anyone. That image is real. How can you say that absolutely? From years of studying images, and again, that's my best take on it. That image is real. AI is just ever evolving, as, as you know better than anyone, Kevin. How difficult, to, how difficult, how difficult rather, will it be for police going forward in any situation to to, to, to determine imagery in terms of what is real and what is fake? Very much. I'm not here to crucify the PSNI. I mean, it was a quick decision, but no, it's very difficult. I mean, there's fake. One of the problems we have quite often nowadays is um, even fake um, v- calls from people. Again, so voices can be cloned, even with you speaking earlier. So here we go. This is you, Elaine. Kevin Curran is quite simply the most handsome and smartest man I have ever had the fortune to meet. He can do anything with a computer. Now, again, that's only 10 seconds. If mm-hmm. I had two minutes of your voice, mm-hmm. again, we can generate a better one. That is cloning someone's voice mm-hmm. again. So you can have deep images, obviously, you can generate images again. But generally, tools can reverse them again. There's the reverse image um, tools online. You can Google have them for everything else. But generally, we have a problem going forward in the future is, again, what happens if Joe Biden appears somewhere, uh, even on some uh, broadcast where it's hacked and it looks like he's declaring war or something? Videos can be done in real time now. Generative AI is a powerful tool. Again, it really does something that was only science fiction a few years ago, where you can do real time voice editing, you can do real time voice footage or video footage as well. So we do have a problem in the future that how can we trust even what we're seeing on any screen again? That's where we need obviously sources of authority again, because of course, Twitter is full of fake videos again, fake images again. That's why they have the, um, you know, the, the, um, again, the, they critique these videos and they put something underneath the disclaimer again. Yeah. True, you know, true crowdsourcing again. But it is very difficult. We're going into an era again where it's very difficult to trust what we see and what we hear on a computer. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Kevin Kern there, Professor of Cybersecurity at Ulster University.